Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing video. Today I've got a really big game to unbox that I actually won in a competition. Uh, Magnate the First City by Naila Games. I've heard it's a fantastic um, city building and economy game. It's meant to be amazing. Um, Dennis from Ordinary Board Gamers has recommended this as one of his favourites. Um, it's actually his competition that I won for the game. Uh, can't believe I won it. Um, it looks amazing. It's a massive box as you've just seen. Um, a lot of cool stuff looking on the back. Big pieces, so thanks to those guys for running that competition. Super happy that I won and managed to get a copy for myself because I've heard this is great and I like um, economy uh, stuff. I did business at university, even though I don't do anything business-wise now, but I loved economy and economics. So I'm really excited to see how this one plays. Uh, any strategies for winning and how I can beat uh, people at play or my missus, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. Let's get this one open and see what's inside. Uh, as you can see on the picture there this game is massive and it's taken up a lot of space on my table in my games room so please ignore the uh, marvel champion stuff that's set here already um obviously i play that game quite a lot so i always have this stuff to the side ready for when i want to set it up again um and on the back you can see kind of what this game looks like when you play it you've got some uh bits and bobs miniatures if that's the first player digger i really love the way that looks it looks awesome Wow, that knife's brilliant. Didn't cut through at all, apart from in this corner. It might be a little rusty as I've just used it to uh, cut the wallpaper in the lounge downstairs that we did, which was a bit of a nightmare. But it looks quite nice now. So, yeah, you've got 50 mini buildings. You've got an AI mode where you can play solo. Um, I've heard from people that this is a fantastic game, and obviously there's a great tutorial with this, which is the kind of tutorial of heard about i'm not seen in a lot of games but sounds like a fantastic idea a pre-built pre deck of cards that will give you a basic first game run through and show you what can happen and how it happens in different scenarios that can come up i've heard that this is a fantastic tutorial and a really great way to get into the game so look forward to doing that so let's get this open Ooh, nice layout first off lots of bits here for all your tokens and your things and your I don't know why more game companies can't do this and give a nice insert where everything's going to fit. Like, look at this, it's a little bit of extra plastic and a little bit of extra effort, but these cards are all in their own little places. The money there is in its own places. You've got another holder for tokens and things there. You've got a place here for big cards. You've got some baggy, okay, baggies that most probably don't need because I've got loads of them, but some extra baggies for little bits here that are going to help put stuff away. Um, we've got this Magnate the First City. Um, there's four or five things in here, I don't know what they are. Obviously we don't need this anymore, the dry thing. Make sure we don't get the dry out before it gets to us. We've got these uh, little wallet things to put money in. So maybe you keep these secretive I guess, and you don't show everyone what your money is until the end. Then you go through and you've got five different types. It is a five player game so that would make sense. You can play up to five. Um, and then keep them stored in this. Actually, I don't need the plastic packet anymore. That can go in the bin. And then you've got some map tiles here, which looks nice. So, Reds, which I can't even pronounce that. Some kind of Polish name. Uh, Radziewicz. The Nature Reserve. On the back, it just says Magnate. You've got Nature Reserve, Train Station, Town, Ridgeway. Matthew's Yard, Moral Grove, Municipal Airport, Lindor, Container Port, and then uh, this piece, which I don't understand what that's for either. It doesn't have a name on it. Uh, on the back, it's grey. So I'm guessing maybe that starts in the city on the start of every thing, maybe. Don't know. It might start in the centre, but obviously, I've never seen this game played as well. So forgive me if I've got that wrong, but I'm assuming that's some kind of initial layout stuff. We've got a nice rule book. Doesn't feel too thick. Do not open a rule book yet if you play Magnet for the first time. I recommend using the tutorial deck. So I'm not going to look through this too much, but there's some actual rules and things. And on the back, score and aid for uh, money and how you get your money and things. Land prices up the top and plot value along the bottom. So that looks like an interesting uh, matrix you've got to use to help you work out your scores and stuff. Bit mathsy maybe for some, but. Uh, I am a maths teacher by trade, so hopefully it won't overstay its welcome. We have an AI board for 
Um, I get some that's for Solo and some other stuff on the back, property market for four players and stuff. Um, so, so let's get in the plastic. So that's your AI board, which is most probably for solo play. And it's got like a kind of brain picture on the back, which is cool. Um, and you've got and I've got a couple of other boards here. So three players, five players, two players, and four players. So this is going to be your property market board, depending on how many players you've got playing. Um, and then inside of that, we've got some punch board. As you can see, some nice looking pieces under there. So this punch board... It's got loads of stuff on it, dice things or something, some property pieces. Finish this out once we've finished. But things like convenience store, student house, I guess, professional couples housing, convenience stores, loads of restaurant, boutique, uh, a few different buildings. We've got some different coloured tokens which match the things from before, like this is Humble Foundation HF. So that's got to be used to your player board, I guess, as one, two, three, four, five. And then the brain symbol, which is much of the solo components things. Uh, more buildings, we've got like a family house, warehouse, small factory, call centre, boutique, law firm, tech company. And they've all got different prices on them. And then you've got for sale tokens and megaphone tokens. And on the back, they've got different numbers and letters. Not sure what they represent, but I guess that's spaces on the boards. Um, and then you've different dice things on the back. They've all got well, they've all got five dots on, um, and this is some kind of megaphone symbol. Not really sure what these are all for yet, but we will figure it out. And then you've got a lot of nice plastic pieces underneath, as you can see there. Uh, I'm going to move these. Let's see if I can get them off the top. Um, the green uh, is red. Little guys, a bit smaller. Uh, the yellow, the, some of the yellow ones have got like a couple of pieces to them. Some of these are a bit smaller. And the green are quite big, kind of uh, like big offices or something. Nice building. They've got some, some really small green ones here, like really little houses. Um, they look really cute. And underneath that, oh, we've also got dice, but these look just like your basic regular dice, but there's quite a few of them. You've got a big pack of quite a lot of dice, and then you've got one grey circle thing there. Got to be a counter for something. So yeah, you've got quite a few dice there. These down there for some reason. Bit of bag. I can't lift this up. And then you've got even more bigger pieces underneath. These pieces look really nice. You've got quite big blue buildings that. A lot like small offices uh, with rotating doors and things on the front. Quite cool. Nice bit of effort put into those. You've got big like hangar type things. Or maybe airport hangar it looks like. There's three of those. There's three of these big red. Um, what look like airport kind of buildings with radars on top or maybe space. Things I don't really know what they're meant to be. Uh, someone please tell me I must be being an idiot. This look like a down arrow for your stocks going down or something. And then the first player marker is a really cute um, little bigger truck with moving arm which moves up and down and even like goes back and forth and things and the wheels on the bottom. So that's a really nice extra touch that they didn't need to really put in there. It's probably a bit overkill really, but very cool, very nice. I like the way it looks. Really funky player one token piece. You have lots of plastic as you can see. Um, most probably not the most environmentally friendly game in the world, but it looks very, very nice. And then cards, you've got, that's the tutorial deck, so I'm not going to open that yet because uh, I want to play through with that to see how the game plays. So I'll keep that as it is. Here we've got AI actions, new tenant cards, risk things, and we've got like kind of card tokens here. Oh, they're in like sleeves, um, just look like green spaces. They're all kind of the same uh, with the uh, green loops like things on the back, but there's different. That's house, that's a space for like a green factory. So I'm guessing they match up to the 
different types of buildings. Um, I'll put them back in the paper sleeve in a minute. And then we've got other ones here, which have got like the red symbol on the back. So I'm guessing that's what you put down to put them on. There's plus one red. Um, and they seem to match with the different things. Here we've got some blue ones with blue, plus one blue building. So maybe you need to buy these spaces to build, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'll work it out as a go. And then this last one is all about yellow buildings, yeah. So you've got yellow, blue, green and red things that match the colour of the plastic buildings. So they're all going separately. And then your money obviously is the last thing, it's kind of like Monopoly money. It's very easy to see. You've got a hundred thousand dollars of Naila games written on it. You got two hundred thousand dollars. Now I don't know who these people are, but maybe they're people who work for Naila Games. Uh, five hundred thousand. Got a million there. Um, yeah, I don't recognise any of the people. And then you've got five million on these as well. Um, and on the backs they've all got different things like in games trust, in games we trust. Yeah, on the back they just all say in games we trust. Which is cool. So the money looks nice. Um, I'm sure after a little while it'll take a bit of a battery in, but it's no big deal. It looks very nice at the minute before we've uh, opened it up. <laughs> and uh, normally it should all fit back into place. I'm just not locking properly. So there's a lot of stuff in here and the game looks fantastic. Um, if you've got any strategies on how to play best, how to win best, how to maximise your economy, Please let me know because I want to be able to win this game next time I play it. So that's everything inside. Thanks to Ordinary Gamer and Naila Games for running the competition. Super happy I've got a copy. Can't wait to give it a go. Um, and hopefully I'll get a review out there fairly soon. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, see you next time.